All right, Morgan, I just want to start off by asking you as an Idaho kid, how important is this Boise State game to you? Uh, it's important. I grew up, um, obviously, I, I've always supported BYU, but I grew up around a lot of Boise State fans. So um, I've got lots of friends, um, you know, back home who, who, who root for Boise State. And yeah, it's, it, it'd be good to, to pull out a win for sure. It's a, it's a good quality team. I'm excited to play against them. It's something I've you know, I've dreamed about ever since I was a little kid to be able to play against Boise State. So, yeah, it's um, I'm excited. And correct me if I'm wrong, the position you're kind of playing right now, you're kind of rotating with Chad's kind of a hybrid middle linebacker <clears throat> spot. How do you like that position? How do you think it fits your skill set? Uh, I like it a lot. It's a uh, it's a fun position to play. Um, gives you uh, gives you some freedom to be able to to do some things um, as a linebacker and and also to to you know play some plays as, as if you're playing a little safety. So I I really enjoy it. It's it's a lot of fun and it's a lot of fun to be able to play with Chaz. Um and I and I learn a lot from him. He's a good athlete and uh it's 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 fun to play with him. Hey Morgan, uh obviously you guys have your rob your in state rivalries with Utah and Utah State, but I'm curious in the locker room, how do the players view this rivalry with Boise State in comparison to those two? Yeah, so and we, we definitely have our, our, our rivals, and I, it, that's it's Utah, Utah State, and Boise State. Um, and we have a lot of respect for, for all of those programs. They always put really, really good teams on the field, and, and you got to take it seriously. You know, every single day, every single um, game, and especially those rivalries, we want to we wanna get them, get that win as a team. Um, we want to get it for our fans, and, and you know, you can't take it lightly. You absolutely have to, to take these rivalry games seriously and know that we're going to get their best and, and they're going to get our best and, and that's what's fun about it so yeah in the in the locker room we will absolutely take this game very seriously we know that um you know their record may not showcase what what a great team they are i think that they are a lot better than the record shows and and we're going to be ready to to give them a good game because we know we're going to get their best you guys are moving into the big 12 you know soon you're going to be playing a conference worth schedule of, of, of power five teams do you guys as players want to see this annual rivalry with boise state continue yeah, it's it's a fun game where you just you, you get excited to play them. It's uh and, and it's especially exciting to to get them at home too with our fans because we know that they're going to take it seriously and 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 it's just going to be a fun time, especially you know on ABC you know one thirty. It's going to be it'll be fun and so I don't think it's going to take a lot for us to to get up for games like this. We hope that um, we can continue this rolling. You know, it's not really up to me, but if I could play Boise State every year, I'd absolutely love to. Just because it's a fun game and it's. It's always a quality game with two quality teams going at it. And Boise State's really struggled to run the ball this year. They're ranked at 127 out of 130 FBS teams with just under 75 yards a game. And as you've looked at them on film, you know what stands out about that aspect of their game? Well, I mean, I, I think every every game can can you know every team can do a little a little poor in some areas, and I think that they'll come come back and. You know, make that emphasis, and hey, we got to establish a run game, and we and we were excited for that challenge. I, I know that Boise State has always had a good football team, and so they're going to, you know, when something's not going great, they're going to make those adjustments. And so we're not we're not preparing for a team that can't run the ball. We're, we're preparing for a team that can run the ball and throw the ball because that's going to put us in the best position to win the game. So, um, yeah, I think that with what we've seen on film, they've got athletes. They've got lots of athletes, and um, we've got athletes too. So that's. Uh, that's that's what's going to make this game pr pretty fun to play in, and and I think pretty fun for the fans to watch. And last one for me: How big of a Boise State fan were you growing up? Um, I actually have never been a Boise State fan. I I've always been, I've always been a BYU fan through and through. So, um, I mean, granted, like you know, if Boise State was playing in a bowl game and they're playing against, you know, I, I love for for Idaho to to get some recognition because um, I'm an Idaho boy, but. No, I, uh, I've always, I've always bled BYU blue. So it's, uh, I've, I've, I've rooted for them when they haven't gone for BYU. Um, but you know, as of right now, I play for BYU, and and we, uh, we're, I'm excited to get out there and play and, and, and rep the Y. Thank you. Good luck this week. Thank you. Appreciate it. I guess I'm up. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was my turn or not. 
Uh, Morgan, we were ta- I was talking to Kalani, asked him about, uh, you know, kind of the, the physicality that the, the team has developed. And he talked about getting lots of guys reps and, and, and how big of a difference that, that has made. As, as a defensive guy who's been part of those, these rotations and, and coming in and out and, you know, getting a little bit of experience, but then watching from the sidelines, what, what does that do for you as a player? Um, so it's, to be honest, like, and it's been talked before, the team camaraderie of this, uh, that we have on this team is, is, is huge. And so we know that we got to be deep, you know, going in the season, we knew we were playing seven power fives and, and then the group of five teams that we play really are the caliber, I feel like, of power five teams. And so, um, we knew that we were going to have to have depth and I think everyone knew their role going into the season could change. Um, and we all needed to deep to prepare and, and play like we were, you know, going to be the one or two that week. And so I think that what our coaches have always done a good job of doing is, is preparing us and letting know, Hey, your time's going to come. Um, and when it comes, you know, you gotta be ready. You gotta be ready for that time. You can't let the, the moment be too big for you. So, um, it's, it's, it's really comforting too, knowing you got a coaching staff at BYU that, that believes in their players and, and puts trust in them, even though they do have limited experience. Um, they, they instill that trust in you and that belief in you. And, and that just makes you want to go out and just ball for your coaches, man, and, and, and just uh, make them proud because, you know, they believe in you. And, um, and that's what I love about BYU is it's, it's everything from, the, from top to bottom, from athletic directors to players to coaches. I think there's just this, this feeling that everyone's got each other's backs, and that just, that just makes you just want to, you know, play harder for the organization you're part of. So it's, it's, it's pretty special, and it's uh, even though, you know, some people don't get as many reps at other games. I think everyone's bought in and knows, hey, if I got a role to play, I'm going to do the best of my ability and we're going to make things happen, make this season special. You're a competitor. I mean, all these, all the guys are. And I'm sure you guys want to be on the field as much as you possibly can because that's what competitors want to do. Does it, is it hard sometimes to, to have them pull you out, even though you know the rotations are coming and things like that? Is it sometimes like, frustrating to to be having to run off the field when you want to still be out there yeah i mean sometimes you just like you know what like you you want to everyone wants to you know stay on the field play one more play um that being said you know you got to realize that you know even if i'm tired um there's a guy who's who's all juiced up ready to go on the sideline who's probably going to be more of an asset to, to the team you know for those next couple of plays and i would be you know playing at 70 because i'm because i'm super tired so i think it's all about just trusting um the process and knowing that you know they're making these subs not because they want you out of the game, but just because they 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 know what's best for the team, and you just and it just comes back to trusting your teammates, knowing that even if I'm out, I know that you know Chaz coming in for me, I know he's going to make the plays that he needs to. I know Ben's going to make the plays. I know Peyton and Max and and Pepe are going to make the plays. So um, yeah, it's all about trusting your teammates and knowing that yeah, I'd love to be in the game, but I know I know my boys got my back and and we're going to roll. We have uh, Mahe waiting to jump on, so we're going to switch now and let Morgan go. Thank you for joining us. We really appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate you guys.